point, Crypto. Swiftly, Superboy and Crypto streak to their destination. It's said that the birth of Jesus was heralded by a bright star that shone over Bethlehem. It would guide three wise men traveling from the east to the spot where the baby they believed was their savior had been born. The story's often been dismissed as a fairy tale. Oh, it's just too silly. Oh, now don't jump to conclusions, Lana. Astrologers would have been hired to foretell the birth and death of kings. To do this, they tracked the movements of the largest planet, Jupiter, known as the King of Planets. The stargazers also knew that there was a prophecy that the Messiah was about to come and conquer the world and rid the world of tyranny. So they were watching very carefully Aries the Ram for the advent of the Messiah. In certain rare alignments, Jupiter could actually appear as an extraordinary star instead of a planet. Charts for Aries in 1 AD, the traditional year that Jesus was born, reveal nothing unusual. But Jesus wasn't born in 1 AD. Our modern calendar was worked out in the 6th century by a scholastic monk called Dennis the Little, who simply added the reigns of the kings together. But historians have since discovered that he miscalculated by half a dozen years. So Jesus was actually born six years earlier than the history books tell us. And guess what? When Michael Molnar looked at his charts for the year 6 BC, he discovered that on April the 17th, Jupiter was in air. It would have been a sign that a big royal event was looming. But there were even more regal portents on that day. Saturn came into Aries. So did the sun. Then the moon eclipsed and revealed Jupiter. Yet another favorable sign. The ancients also found meaning in the dawn, which they saw as a symbol of birth. On that day, Jupiter emerged as a morning star. This was the most powerful time to bring about the birth of a king. These collectively indicated the birth of a super king, if you will, the Messiah. This set of alignments may have escaped modern astronomers, but it would most certainly have impressed first century astrologers. Especially if the astrologers were wise men traveling from the east. How about that?